This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue, start your free trial, and when you do sign up, you get 10... This episode no, is... That was perfect. No, it was... It was yeah. go, 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 go. I saw that in the copy, actually. It's like, if you just want to throw a bunch of random letters together, I think they'll get it. In my bug out bag, I would have an axe. An axe is pretty good. Actually, that and a crowbar, because a crowbar you can use for hammering, for Maybe frying. Maybe a mace. I'm sorry? Or like a... Or Loretta. I will have nunchucks. Yes, of course. Of nunchucks? This, this is sounding less and less practical uh, by the moment. I would like a booklet of free Quiznos sandwiches because you can get like 60 of them in there. Oh, okay. Also a yes and no book with the magic uh, invisible pen. Some Mad Libs? Yeah. <laughs> magic eight ball, that's all you need, really. The Ouija board! The nunchucks, the Ouija board. I mean, Axe! Forgive me if I don't call you when the apocalypse hits. <laughs> and a ghost meter. There's gonna be lots of dead people. <laughs> bug out bags. What is it about bug out bags? Do you think it's the actual ability to flee from, you know, the heat being on you? Or do you think it's that quiet knowledge of knowing not that you need to, but you could, and you have a plan in place? Yeah, it's uh, maybe it's just peace of mind. You might die and never have to use your bug out bag. In fact, I'm gonna say that should be a goal of yours. Die without ever needing a bug out bag. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a life well lived. But always have it ready because we live in uncertain times. So oftentimes when people do disaster preparedness, they're fantasizing about like a zombie apocalypse or whatever. But FEMA was the ones that pointed out, if you're ready for a zombie apocalypse, you're also ready for a hurricane, an earthquake, a, 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 a drought, a, an EMP blast, a, whatever. And that's what they tell you about building your bug out bags is maybe have multiple stationed at different caches and also build them for your region specifically, because if you live in an area that is prone to hurricanes, you're gonna build your bug out bag a little bit differently than what you would build if you lived in like something where there's always wildfires or earthquakes or something like that. Also, do you have an urban bug out bag or is it a wilderness bug out bag? I have a suburban bug out bag. Sub it's got stickers to put on the back of whatever vehicle indicating how many children I have. How many, how, how long your marathon was. It comes with a fake box of Girl Scout cookies that I could sell. GPS that takes you to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Only Costco. Yes. So what are we looking at here? Okay, this is a two-person urban survival bug out bag from Emergency Zone. I figured we'd do like a little bit of unboxing and figure out just what, what everything the logic in here is does. All this. Yeah. yeah, everybody has their own methodology for how to build one of these things. This one got well, a lot of good ratings and it had a pretty good smorgasbord all right, of all the big in. tenants. I'm gonna guess that it doesn't come with what I assume is the most important thing, which is $10,000 in cash. That is a good one. You should always keep cash on you. The only time cash is not gonna work is when the government has failed and faith in the US dollar has eroded. In which case, at that point, you just need weapons, right? Yeah, I would think so. You would need weapons and uh, what, gasoline, food, water? Water yeah. becomes currency, yeah. something like that. And, and you you have to trade water, but it's easiest to transport it in solid form, and so you become an ice pirate, and you join the ice pirates. What if you get space herpes? Oh my God, space herpes are the best. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that they tell you is uh, don't have your bug out bag look like a bug out bag. Oh, really? I don't really know what that means. Well, I, I would imagine if it's giant and red and has a big cross on it. Oh, and sure. It, it has embroidered bug out bag, emergency supplies only. Yeah, I want to get one that's like Pokemon or something that is clearly <laughs> just does not have any survival materials in it. But this one looks like a, like a general all-purpose athletic bag, I'm right? I'm imagine, I, I'm just gonna give this the benefit of the doubt and assume that they meant to include a nine millimeter handgun and the cash. That is one of the ones that all of them tell you. It's like, have something to defend yourself with. And many of the lists that tell you how to build your own bug out bag, they say, you really can't beat just having a gun. Wow. You can have all sorts of things to protect yourself with, but if you don't have a gun, you're probably gonna end up on the losing end of this conflict. That got dark. It did, all I right. know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we got in here? All right, so another one of the things that they tell you is to leave some extra space in the bag in case you find things, and it looks like they've done this here. Wow, this really is just somebody curated. Somebody has a bag plant around yeah. the corner, and they just put everything and in there. And there are tons of these online of people who say, well, our bug out bag is best because it's got this in it instead of this. I, I guess that's everything. Uh, is that everything? Yeah. Okay. One of the most important things is how heavy your bug out bag is. You really want to be conscious of the weight 
of everything and you also want to test it out. Put your bug out bag on and walk around your neighborhood. Make sure that it's something you're gonna be able to carry. How far do you think you should be expected to go? Well, you really need uh, something where you can survive for about 72 hours. Okay. Because that's generally what uh, emergency relief and disaster teams, that's how long they take to get to uh, the location of whatever catastrophe Got it. has befallen society. And also, that's also enough time to where like, let's say you know this whole area is totally wiped. Let's say, you know, a dirty bomb or whatever goes off. It's like, okay, nobody's coming here. 72 hours is enough time for you to get pretty much anywhere. You can get 100 miles in any direction walking in 72 right, hours, right? Right, So they tell you to have 72 hours worth of stuff. Now this one, again, is a two-person one. So we're gonna have, like, the first thing you've grabbed here, a ration. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. I know. And you're right. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We, we, got, we got it. We got it right now. We got to start. Yes, okay. Yes. So this, I don't, I don't know what this is. So this man. says SOS Food Lab. Their rations: sugar, oh. enriched wheat flour, partially hydrogenated vegetable shortening, cornstarch, wheat gluten. Oh my dextrose. God! This is literally sugar, starch, and fat. Yeah. Some uh, disaster prep guys tell you just carry a bunch of olive oil in there because it's got a lot of high caloric intake and you can use it for lubrication, unsticking zippers, stuff like that. Oh, that's really good. Uh, yeah. uh, and I know we had talked about this before, but those uh, astronaut ice cream bars are pretty much pure coffee creamer. You know, it's just all, oh, yeah. you know, starch basically. All right, here. here yeah, you open here. You want me to get a... No, I'm out in the woods. Wait, unless we have it in our bug out bag. Do we have a scissors? Probably. Yeah, man. Uh, See? Uh, get, get that. This is the bug out tools bag. And you're using your teeth. Oh my gosh. Hold on. <laughs> These are off brand. These are supposed to look like B playing cards, but they're BCG. Like this label is exactly the B playing cards from the US playing card companies, only cheap. Huh. All right. Nice. Now, a lot of the bug out bags say carry playing cards because you're going to get bored. That's the only reason I could find to justify yeah, that. Yeah, well, and they're not wrong. I mean, that, that matters. Man, the apocalypse sounds kind of like a drag. Yeah, you know, uh, for as much as we fetishize it, I'm starting to think it won't be fun. Ooh, gross. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's do it. We got to do it, man. Oh, gross. Is it bad? Oh, it's not good. It smells like pound cake. It's fat cake. Yeah. yeah, just gonna have a little bite, just get one. No, we're gonna eat all of them. <laughs> we're gonna eat all, okay, here we go. Oh my God, so oh, one of oh, them is One of them is 400 oh, calories. Do you feel the oil has seeped through? Oh, gross! <laughs> no! Okay, so we got- <laughs> Oh, everything is slippery, there's so much oh, oil. Oh God. <laughs> okay, one, two, what, what do we got? Six. I actually, I bet it's gonna be delicious. There are nine of them in there. There's 3,600 calories per. So this, you oh eat all of those my. and I'll eat this oh. one. Oh! Oh, it's not so bad. It's like shortbread. Yeah, it's like shortbread. Super fatty shortbread. Mm-hmm. This is what Yoda was eating on Dagobah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mine, or I will help you not. <laughs> It's good. Yeah. We're gonna need some emergency purified drinking water to wash it down. Is that just pure water? Yeah, it I is. I didn't realize we're actually gonna like consume all this. Bags of water, <laughs> let's do it. It comes from a prepare for life, an emergency preparedness guidebook. So that's handy with a little golf pencil. I mean, you'll have time to read all that. It's got a golf pencil so you can write down your score <laughs> on, at life. on how well you did in preparing for the disaster. Day 75, still alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still, yeah. Everything sucks. All right. It's just water. Where's the knife? Wait, wait no, don't use the knife. It's got a twisty knob there. Mm. Where's the thing? I just twisted it on the notch. The, I'm doing it. Oh, there we go. I mean, that's just water, though. Yep, that's water. When it comes to survival, what's the three, three, three thing? It's like you can last three minutes without oxygen, three days without water, three weeks without food. Yes. Okay, so we got water and cookies. That's good. So everybody take a Ziploc bag, put a fill it under the cookies. sink, <laughs> and, then, and then buy a, a thing of uh, Oreos and you're already halfway there. You're good. One of the things they tell you is to always rotate your rations and your meds that oh, you keep. So that means you have to eat them? Yeah. You're gonna have to eat these on a semi-regular basis. Replace within five years of manufacturing date. Mm. There are like 10 core tenets for building your bug out bag and it's water, food, fire, first aid, self-defense, miscellaneous, tools, lights, communication, and shelter. Wow. You know, water and food, you're gonna want no matter what, uh, mm -hmm. but also I would imagine some of these are more related to urban 
versus rural, like like being yeah. out in the woods. Yeah, well, it was like I was talking about. You've got to be prepared for whatever area you're in. Always have your bug out bag stick to whatever your plan is to evacuate. Just having a bug out bag is not enough. Mm -hmm. You have to have, okay, I'm gonna go here and do this. If the, as they call it, the SHTF, the <laughs> hits the fan. Oh, got it. Like, I'm gonna go here and get this, then I'm gonna go here and get these people, and then I'm gonna so get So that out. makes me wonder if it's more valuable to have a series of caches set up, like just yeah. the knowledge of where these materials are. Yeah, have one in your car, have one at work, have one out in the woods, have one at a friend's house. Have one on you right now, at yeah. all times. A lot of people have an everyday carry bag. You have to be uh, prepared and you have to know what you're going to use everything for. Don't just put a bunch of random stuff in there. Flashlight makes sense. Oh, what? What is it? AM, FM, alarm, it's got a radio. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Now, a lot of these that have multiple things within one unit, like a radio flashlight, I don't know about this one, but a lot of them are garbage. Mm, well. It's kind of like getting the... Does this sound like garbage to you? Yeah, kind of. I'm digging this. That's exactly I what like, I would expect to hear. I would imagine that you're just in the woods dancing by yourself. That's right. And it's got a USB charger? That'll be useful for all the laptops out in the woods. Sure, yeah. You're stuck on going out in the woods? Oh, that's kind of neat. That's the sassy alert. That's the <laughs> sassy alert. <You're> <laughs> that tells you I want to survive, but I'm also here to party. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What is that? Okay. Great. Okay, this suddenly became the most valuable item in the kit. Much because better. Now you have information coming in. Now is it just a radio receiver? Yeah. But but I'm telling you, even one-way communication is gonna be valuable. Oh yeah, no, you definitely need that. That's like one of the main things that they tell you to get. Wait a minute. What's up? This is not to charge it. This is so you can charge your devices from it. Oh my god! Brilliant! So here, let's see. Moment of truth. What do we got? Anything? No. No? <gasps> is it charging? I don't know. It started to. Yeah. Uh, okay, here, do it again. There it is, there it is, keep charging. Charge my phone, charge my phone, continue to charge. Charge, charge my phone. All right, just 12 more hours, 12 gonna, more hours. You're gonna have to hydrate me. <laughs> hold, hold on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it was working. Yeah, no, okay. that's that's great. That's what it's for then. No, okay, but seriously, keep charging. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it's only charging when you're winding it. Oh, really? So, okay. So here, let's see how slow you can go. Here, slow it down. Still charging. All right, now stop. And now it's not charging. Charging. Yeah. Okay. Dude, this is the most valuable item in the bunch. It's, That's a good one. It is clutch. All right, what else? So they also tell you tape. Now this is interesting that they picked a flesh colored thing. Well, I wouldn't say that it was flesh colored because there are lots of different colors of flesh, white man. My flesh color. Burn. <laughs> duct tape, very valuable. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay, so we got some duct tape, got some paracord. Hey, what is it with paracord bracelets? Yeah, they look fashionable to, to a point, but more importantly, if you're ever out in the woods, you can untie them and then they just, you know, loosen out and become, a, you know, a hundred feet of paracord. Oh, right Which on. is astonishingly valuable for, you know, building a tent, uh, for, you know, stringing a hammock, uh, hanging up your food, uh, 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 tying off a snake bite. There's plenty of situations you're gonna want paracord. Multiple purposes. Here, if you, if you need to fend off attackers with your cards, you can throw them okay. like your Brian Brushwood. This is me being a judgmental magician, but I'm really curious. These are definitely knockoffs of US Playing Card Company's B brand cards. I mean, come on. Uh, well, okay, yes. Yeah, these are these are kind of I mean, how can you what? <laughs> what? How can this be? You're going to be Randall Flag, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Or or like the the man in black. Yeah. Out in the woods working on my magic. All right. And now Party time. That's what that says. We're gonna have very different looking camps when we're out of the woods. You're gonna have disco balls and you're gonna be dancing and partying. Yeah, you gotta bring the party, even in the apocalypse. So we got a whistle, but it also has a compass on it. Yeah. No, that seems legit. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, what's in there? In there? Nothing. 
Oh, and a mirror. Okay, that's what I was looking for, a signaling mirror. That's actually really clever. You're just vain, is all. Uh, no, I was told back when I was in uh, Cub Scouts that having a mirror was one of the most valuable things you could do, because if you're lost in the woods and somebody's trying to find you, there's nothing better than a signaling mirror to get their attention and uh, let them know that you are alive. All right, GI can opener. Oh, wow, yeah, no, this is just a little gizmo that uh, it flops open and you're able to just go wah, 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 and work your way around oh, yeah. to open okay. the cans. Although it, it is curious that they have this, but no cans in the bug out bag. In case you find cans, which you probably will. Yeah, when also this is an urban survival bug out bag. I just had the thought, this is an urban survival bug out bag. So they probably have a bunch of stuff expecting you to find canned food. Right, so this one really isn't focused on survival in the wilderness. Although a lot of this would carry over to wilderness survival. Light sticks. Yes, light sticks. That seems to be a, a, a staple of all of these. This looks almost like a joke, gardening gloves, but I guarantee you, if you're if you're manufacturing a shelter or whatever, your hands are gonna get ripped up on all oh, the yeah. branches. Or if you... there's debris, like let's say there was an earthquake or something like that, and you're having to move all sorts of like cinder blocks or, or asphalt or rebar out of the way, you're gonna want something like this. Oh my God, it's toilet paper. <laughs> oh yeah, cool. <laughs> of course. You're gonna definitely appreciate that. This is supposed to be for two people. I don't know what they're talking about, because uh, <laughs> after one of these, you're gonna need at least two of these. Here, put on that. Okay. And I guess, uh, again, this is kind of dark thing to think about. So you can breathe. Mm-hmm. I am, uh, this is a curious place to end up putting the scissors, though. What do you mean? <laughs> oh yeah, here, let's. <laughs> That's how a civilized person does it. Nurse, <laughs> I need exactly two and a half sheets. You two and a half sheets, here you go. You don't do that with your <laughs> tickets? <laughs> you don't keep a s pair of scissors on the back of the toilet? You got a rash in the toilets. The, to the toilets. <laughs> the of the toilet Only toilet. one toilet per customer. Get out of here. All right, what else we got here? Uh, a barber kit. <laughs> oh, it oh, is. No, it's, it, yeah, it's hygiene toiletries. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of toiletries and hygiene. Oh my gosh, there it is. We we actually have a sewing kit. Oh, so of you course. Could, you could use these to stitch up a wound if you yeah. needed to. Fresh scent. Shampoo and body wash. These are sanitary napkins, which can be used if you're a male to plug wounds. Yep, uh, and they are also effective kindling or tinder uh, to start a fire. Yeah, man, tinder. Yeah, In swipe right. Yeah. <laughs> swipe right for the super mutant. <laughs> <laughs> then we got, uh... oh, it's a toothbrush, okay. <laughs> anyway, what have we here? I this can... strange I artifact from the a bristles. different world. I didn't see the bristles. Well, what would you use this, good sir? I, I had this thought where it was like, Oh God, please don't let there be a basic hygiene thing that is known to everyone that I just don't <laughs> recognize. <laughs> and then this razor. Shave cream. Yep. The Comb. Shampoo. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that all works. Pretty straightforward. Some fresh mint. This is tacky. What is it? Well, when you're out in the woods all alone, you'll have this handy catalog of other things you should have also bought. <laughs> right. Boo. Deluxe weather kit. This is gonna be like our shelter. You get to control stuff. the weather. Yeah. How this is wonderful. The, the weather dominator from that old GI Joe cartoon. Um, <laughs> emergency poncho. Okay. This stuff. This is a sleeping bag. That's just a mylar bag, basically, for okay. your body. Astonishingly good. Like, really. Like, that's the reason like homeless people will cover themselves in newspapers is because if you once you eliminate the breeze and you your own warm air is all around you, mm -hmm. it's super super good for keeping you warm. Oh, okay. So we do we have two ponchos in here? There's two oh, ponchos. there's the other. Okay. Yeah, there, there. <laughs> it's a two-person poncho. <laughs> and then Emergency we got our tube tent. Tube tent. See, and this is this is what you'll definitely want that paracord for, so that you can just tie it between two trees. Oh yeah. Over. Air activated hand warmer. These are standard. When, when you go skiing, you get pocket warmers and toe warmers, and it's basically it says iron powder, wood powder, salt, active carbon, and uh, vermiculite. You get it exposed to the air, and in here, feel feel, feel that. Shake that around. And it'll it won't get like oppressively warm, but but you'll start to feel a coziness in there. Oh yeah, right. Probably. Do you have to keep shaking it? No no no. Like like three to five hours that should last. Really? Yeah. It, it it'll be enough to prevent you know frost nip or frostbite if you're out in the elements. So oh, that's wow. definitely worth having. Okay cool. I do like the way they've compartmentalized everything by theme. You know like this is to protect against the elements. This is to protect against blank and so on. Yeah. Against uh, body odor. <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh this does get pretty warm. Okay cool. Yeah. All right so we got. Got our uh, water purification kit. What is it, iodine or is it well, potassium permanganate? Uh, back in Cub Scouts, I remember them explaining that uh, that you could add a couple of drops of bleach to like a gallon of water. You probably don't want to do that too much though, right? Okay, this doesn't say what chlorofloc water purification powder is. Okay, so I'm assuming some chlorine, right? 
Oh, it does have the word chlor. One water purification tablet or powder pack to one liter of water. Before drinking, allow to sit for at least 15 minutes to kill bacteria and viruses. Allow four hours to kill cysts in very dirty water. Oh, well that got gross. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. So you're still gonna have to be very careful with it, but because you've only got like, what, five of these packs? Yeah, but Six. hopefully by that point you're scavenging and you're finding something. Fresh water that supplies. Works, yeah, but that'll, that'll get you through in a pinch. That's a, that's a pretty good one. That's one that I wouldn't think to put in there. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, it's the guidebook. Dude, that might be the most valuable thing out of all of it. Oh, is, that's a good is point. It's just reminders, because when you're in the thick of it, your brain is not, you're not gonna have the internet. You gotta assume that your, your phone is gone or you've ditched it. There's uh, gonna be a substantial amount of panic and adrenaline, I think. Yeah, well, and that's, that's the whole thought of a bug out bag, is you know you're gonna be in a situation where you're gonna be panicking, and so this is you taking care of future you by making the decisions smartly well, you're early clear headed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's definitely a first aid kit. Okay, yeah, pretty uh, pretty typical. The only things that I'm not seeing here is cash and a gun, right? That's the only other things I could think of that I would need. Yeah, we do have this uh, multi-purpose, not a Swiss Army knife, but it essentially is a Swiss Army knife slash Leatherman. So you've got knives and corkscrews and so forth, but- Corkscrews, super valuable. <laughs> yeah, when you should find some wine. Hosting a little party. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. soiree. Yeah, like how awkward would it be for you to not have- mm. God, if it's all twist off wine. <laughs> so I'm gonna say to augment this, when you've got some space in there, put some cash in there and carry something like Ooh, this, right? Yeah. Or the blowgun. <laughs> actually, that's not bad. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Okay, so how much for all of this pre-packaged in here? Because if I was assembling this myself, this looks like maybe $50 of stuff. Uh, all of this right here, bag and everything, it's a little bit pricey, but it's one of the more competitively priced ones that I found. It's less than $200 online. Okay, well, and keep in mind, you're not really paying for the materials, you're paying for the thought and planning that goes in and the convenience yep. of somebody putting everything together. Also keep in mind that this is for two people. If you were to assemble all of this yourself, I bet that it would end up being much more expensive because you've got some stuff in here like the generic cards, yeah. you know, and I bet it would be more expensive than just buying it in bulk. But I'll maybe tell you not. What, this is one of those things that I would never have thought to grab, but yet will ultimately be the most valuable. Because yeah. if you're hiding out, if you need to vanish mm -hmm. off the grid for a good three yeah. days, you're gonna want to know whether or not, you know, they're talking about hunting you down on the AM radio or whatever. Oh, right. I would like to hear from the community. What's missing? What's missing, yeah. yeah. Or what is uh, not gonna be as helpful as we might think. Like, aside from the money and the gun, what would you put in here? Uh, uh, Stratego. Okay, throwing star, maybe. Where are those, where are they at? <laughs> Gas mask? <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Have we found the ability to make fire anywhere in these? There's no way they would have forgotten that, right? I don't see maybe, maybe that's what's supposed to go in here, is strike anywhere matches. Oh, I think even with an urban kit, you're gonna want something. Yeah, to make fire. To make fire. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, and now for the follow-up episode, I want you to repack all of this. We're gonna take you to uh, an unknown location and dump your ass out there. It's fine, fine. I'll be, I'll be right back here. I have to be messy. Bryce and Brand have to follow you and film it all. You're killing me. Kill Just me. Let me know how it goes. Dude, it's actually happening. We are nearly four weeks into themodernrogue.com, having daily articles every weekday of the week. Of every week. Of Can every week. I say week. the word week a every few week more times? Day. It's still happening, and the traffic just keeps building, and the excitement is getting better, and I, I guess we can announce we're, we're out of beta. This is pure Modern Rogue content, too. Oh my gosh, It's yeah. not just tangentially related. This is all Modern Rogue in the written form. Well, yeah, many of them are inspired by the episodes. All of them have amazing takeaways that'll make you the most interesting person in the room. I learned about pigeons that have adorable backpacks so they can smuggle ketamine. Ikea named all their products with secret codes so that they can tell what they are. So like if it's the name of a boy, it is a bookshelf. If it is the name of a town in Denmark or Sweden, it is a rug. And if it's the name of a flower, it is bedding. Like that's the way you instantly, you hear what it is and you know what it is. All this secret stuff, dude. This is what we wanted to make the show about from the very beginning. Uh, my favorite article is the one that talks about Tim Ferriss and how he won a kickboxing championship without really knowing how to kickbox. <laughs> I think that would be putting it uh, conservatively. And all of this is possible because of Squarespace. Our editor, John Cheese, was able to get everything launched and off the ground in record time. Oh my gosh, because it was a fast pivot. Suddenly we have traffic that you are able to monitor 
on your phone. This might not be the healthiest obsession, but I, my new favorite thing. I knew you were gonna freak out about it. There was, a, I found out there's an app with a button that let, lets me hit refresh and see all the page numbers and everything. It shows all the traffic sources, it shows all the trends, it makes it super graphic and easy to follow along so that you know what's hitting on all cylinders. And I was talking to John Cheese about this. I said, hypothetically, let's say we wanted to change the entire look of the site. How long would that take? And he was like, I don't know, 30 seconds. I had it open and it was just so easy. It was like, I wonder if John would notice if I changed the background. <laughs> That's the best part is you could roll back changes. I mean, I'm not gonna encourage you to go break everything, but if you did, John Cheese would be able to go bleep, blah, bloop. Oh, that Murphy, get back in your tank, sir. <laughs> That's where they keep me. <laughs> I, meant, I meant the tank we built, but that's fine. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like some sort of like nutrient gel <laughs> that I'm floating in, in a back to tank. Yeah. I'm recovering from your from your wampa attack. Like I'm like universal soldier. You only pull me out whenever there's an episode to shoot. Modern Rogue is continuing to grow and I'm starting to feel like this is gonna be a real thing. If you haven't checked out the Modern Rogue, read the articles. The entire back catalog is fantastic. New articles every weekday. Most importantly, if you want to launch your brilliant idea, you can do it very quickly and very pretty by heading on over to squarespace.com slash rogue. Start your free trial at the link below. And when you do sign up, you get 10% off. Yeah, and you'll be keeping us in business. Plus your site will look beautiful. You'll be Squarespace in it, man. Is that their new slogan? Squarespace in it. They pay people smarter than us to come up with those. Who's gonna give that one for free? Yeah, you can have it. Why don't you be Squarespace in it?